Hello everyone, so in today's video we're gonna try a new razor by I'm gonna try not to butcher the name again Gissen and Gorsthoff it's a Timor razor this one is a, they say it's a unisex it's a Timor unisex zero waste um, gentle shaver okay it's one of their cheapest uh, razors the normal price is around um, 35 euro if, if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah 35 euro um, but I was able to get it on a promotion by for uh, 23 so that was a good deal now there we go comes in a cardboard box normal cardboard box there you go there's something inside hold on what is it okay there's a leaflet there in German which I don't know how to speak German so I won't even try and there's a Timor blade, nice, 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 nice. Okay, there's a Timor blade, so that's the one we're gonna use. Yeah, this is in German, so I'm not even gonna try to read what's in here. Um, nah, forget about it, it's all German. So I actually wanna keep the box. It's actually nice, I'm just gonna put it on here. Now, it's kinda similar to the uh, size wise very similar to the the other Timor I have the one made in China this one is made in Germany and you can actually see it says there made in Germany the um, the other thing for the price is actually really nice this is stainless steel the handle is stainless steel the knurling is really nice like just this is night and day comparing with the other Timor night and day miles better the knurling is just lovely 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 it's not too sharp but it's really nice and we'll see now when i wet how it is now the head is completely different as well so the channels are very similar with like the edwin jagger and uh, parker that i tried the last video the channels are very different uh, you have there saying made in germany yeah, the top cap, it's all very simple. Made in Germany on the top cap as well. And one thing that I'm actually finding funny, I don't know if you guys can see, which is actually good. Let's see now when I put the blade, if there's overhanging. If there's no overhanging and you have this protrusion here, that's actually excellent for you to put the razor, the, to put the blade in. Because you probably have enough space to keep the blade in place without having overhang. Let's see, actually, I'm going to test that now. Let's open. The huge difference. Made in Germany, huge, huge difference. So let's see. Now, there's the protrusion there. I don't know if it, if it shows there on camera. There's a bit of a protrusion there. So what I'll do is I'll put this Timor blade, which I'm actually curious as well. We'll load up the blade there. Sweet. Yeah, and you can grab the blade in place with that small protrusion. There we go. We put the other one. That's nice. You can keep everything in place. And now we're gonna put the handle. I'm just out of out of, out of a shower, so I'm a bit sweaty there. Yeah, there's barely any overhang. There's a small, tiny bit actually. No, that is not. There's none from the bottom cap, but because of that protrusion, if you grab it there, you feel the blade, which is a lovely, 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 um, uh, how you say it? I lost my English there now for a second. It's just a, a nice uh, um, thing there for the design of it and the utility of it. Really nice. You can grab the blade and there won't be any, you know, overhanging. Brilliant. And as I said, stainless steel handle. Uh, the top cap, I couldn't find which alloy was, uh, but it's chrome plated anyway. I don't know if it's brass or any other thing, but um, it's a chrome plated and the only stainless steel is the, the, the handle. So nice one. Just leave it there now for a while. And because it's German, I'm gonna use one of my favorite soaps as well. And one of my first soaps 
that I bought as well, which is Tabak original. Now this is the first, um, uh, this is the, the Tabak with tallow, it's not the new one. I know there's a new one now, it's kind of vegan based, but uh, this is the old, the old one with, the, with tallow. Um, and I just love the scent of this. It's, it's, it brings back memories. Um, to the old old times, like this is a for me is a traditional barber shop. It's a really manly scent. Um, I have the notes there. Give me just a second there. Okay, um, the top notes lend a citrusy, which some, I actually don't find it very citrusy. I, I know it's a complicated scent and it's a barber scent, but uh, it has narrowly lemon, black pepper, bergamot, and uh, petite grains, which I think is spices. Because I feel a lot of spices there. Uh, then it, uh, it gives um, a way to a floral kind of a heart, which comes from the lavender, chamomile, ger geronium, and oak absolute. Uh, now, the other thing I found very funny, it's when I said the flowery scents, you have those uh, heart notes that I told you there, but there's more into this uh, scent besides that, those hard ones. On top of it, you have uh, other notes like sandalwood, vetiver, musk, which I love, and ambergris. That's the finishing of it. Uh, and this is just, I, I love this scent. I, 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 I actually, I only found one person that didn't like it, but I, I love it. Brings me back to the old barber shops when I was growing up. And it's just lovely, lovely, lovely. It's a complicated scent, but lovely scent. Manly, manly stuff. I love this. So, I'm not even gonna bloom. We go with my Simpson Trafalgar. Actually, before I do that, because we're trying a new razor, I'm gonna put some uh, pre-shave. And I'll use my Mastro Mickey. So, let's go. Just wet it there a bit. Every time I try a new razor, I always end up putting, I prefer to put a bit, just on the safe side, a bit of a pre-shave. Even though I know that um, the soap, it's lovely and it's brilliant. A lot of sleekness, a lot of protection there, easy to lather. But um, I always like to put a bit more protection, especially underneath here, which I'm very, very sensitive. So. I'll just do that. I'll use my Mastro Mickey, which is one of my favorite pre-shave soaps. Reason being, it has a, a nice scent, but um, it doesn't um, overpower the soaps that I use. So nice. There we go. Let's say we're ready. So that's the pre-shave now. There we go. Today I'm gonna try to do just a two pass shave. Um, so we'll see how this razor deals with. So let's go. I'm gonna wet the brush there. This is a synthetic brush, so you don't need to leave it soaking for a long time. There we go. Plenty of water there. there we go. Into the pack. Normally this leather's really, really quick. And then we're gonna do face leather as well. I'm not gonna take much um, from it. Here we go. We're gonna take use this proto leather there and put it on our face. That's it. See, just the proto leather itself, I would say I would have been able to shape with this proto leather. So, it's a really nice soap. I love this soap, like... Like, and it's not an expensive uh, soap at all. Um, it's been done since 1956. So, nice. I'm just gonna pass it on water there. Get it sideways there so it dries up. I know I'll have enough on the brush there. To do a few passes. Here we go. Yeah, lovely. So you guys, easy, easy peasy to leather this. I 
this is one of the, I would say, staples in wet shaving. Not expensive, a proper barbershop um, scent, in my view. I know there's some people there that uh, disagree, but you can't, not everyone can agree with everything, like, so normal. But um, that's my, my way of seeing I love this, uh, this scent. Barbershop, a lot of, um, it, it's always changing, you have the flowery there. I always felt there was a bit talcoey, which it actually doesn't have talco, I think. At least I couldn't find anything about talco. But that's the feeling I, uh, I, I get, especially the first few times I tried it. I always found it like a bit talcoey. Maybe that's the reason why uh, it reminds me of the, the old barbershops. Just a bit more water there. Yeah. And the other thing as well is the, the leather is just, uh, it's like silky, silky smooth. And you can add, uh, add a lot of water and it just keeps building up. This, for me, staples in terms of like price-wise and performance and everything, it's this and Parasso. If you guys are trying wet shaving for the first time, or even if you don't want to be spending uh, money on artisans, which I think you should. Artisans have, a, it's another level. But um, this is the staples, like, for me, Hmm. Mm, nice. It's not aggressive, but it have it has um, blade feel. Let's see efficiency there. Wow, smooth. It's night and day. Night, I don't even. I don't think I'm gonna need. I'll do it anyway. But um, I was gonna do another video with the two of them later on. On another shave. But Jesus Christ, the difference is huge, huge. It's um, it's not an aggressive uh, razor by any means. It's very gentle, but you feel the blade. You have enough, you have enough feel on the blade to know what you're doing. You're not going blind. Let's say it that way. That's one thing that I found with the. Razors that don't have much blade field, you kind of don't know exactly where you stand with it. See, I find it with myself that it's uh, a bit easier to cut yourself when you don't have the blade field. Because if you have a blade field, you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, and for my skin, I always found that a bit of aggra aggressiveness or efficiency, let's put it that way, not really aggressive, just a bit more of efficiency, not too gentle, uh, always works best because I can do just two passes, I don't need to go over the same spots again. Yeah, you can hear it cutting, but it's not a noisy, um, it's not a noisy uh, razor by any means, not like a, a Parker which always makes loads of noise. Now, yeah, lovely, lovely. It is gentle, very gentle, but the feedback in terms of the blade, it's on point. On point, you know exactly what you're doing with this. Ex wow, wow! For the price, I think this is a really, 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 really nice, nice razor. Stainless steel, look wet. Yeah, it don't slip at all. Nice, easy to control. Turn.
Mm, I got my pimple there already. I forgot about it for a change. Nice. There we go. I'd say we're done. The other thing, as you guys can see, I can buff away with this um, with this soap easily enough. And I show you that, especially on mustache area, which is very sensitive for me. See, buff away easy. There we go. Nice. We're gonna go get ready for the second pass there. go get ready for the second pass back to the brush nice I, I just love this this scent uh, brings me back to childhood I actually thought it would have like leather or something the first few times I tried it never thought of flowery the notes I, I found the first few times I tried it without going into my invest investigation because I, I thought it was talcoy, leatherish and spicy. Um, which the spicy I was oh I was right, but uh, no leather at all. It's actually more woody notes and the lemon, which I still don't uh, don't feel. But because it's such a complicated scent, there it has so many so many things it's always a bit different but the silkiness of this um, of this this soap it's actually it feels more like a cream than a soap if you guys understand what I'm trying to say it's a very very creamy soap it's one of the easiest ones you can find to to leather you don't need to bloom it at all just Whatever the water you have on the brush, it's good enough. And this, I just love this, love it. We're ready, but I could spend, I don't know, hours doing the lettering on the face. So let's go, second pass. Let's go against here. It's actually, it's not against, it's across because Against would be like this for me down here on the neck area. My neck area is very complicated. There's hairs go growing in all kinds of directions. So it's always a bit hard. That's why I have so many scars there from when I used to shave with normal um, uh, razors, like, you know, not the razors or, you know, when I didn't wet shave. Uh, so. I, I still have loads of scars there on the bottom. Yeah, it's very gentle, all right. And there's enough noise feedback, not a lot. Not a huge amount of uh, noise feedback, but enough for you to know. The blade feel is definitely there, but um, you don't feel like it's aggressive at all. This is another really great, great razor. Unless you're a guy that loves a lot of uh, aggressiveness, which most of the people I've talked with, they don't. They prefer a, a gentle, gentle touch with enough, enough feedback so they know what they're doing. And the other thing I found as well is because I do head shave as well and on head shave for me is the opposite. I, I do prefer a, a razor that is really mild when I'm doing head shave. The less blade feel the better. But on, uh, on face, no, I prefer to have a bit of a feel there. I have to be careful there, I have a bit of a pimple there. So, yeah, a load of slickness, let me just dry my fingers, because this soap is really, really slick. And I need to stretch it there. 
We are very easy to control. It's very gentle, very, very. The name is appropriate. But don't be mistaken, you can still cut yourself. Still, still can get a few nicks. Buff there. Now we go across mustache area. Yeah, definitely. You don't feel it. I'm just gonna test there. No. Yeah, definitely. So when you put your finger there and you feel the blade, when you're shaving, you don't feel it at all. So there's no overhanging from the bottom down, but uh, it's enough for you to grab when you're putting or taking the blade. Nice design, really, really. It's these subtle things that make the difference on a, on a razor. Nice, really nice, like. I think I found a gem on this one. It's small, but it's still kind of heavy. That's another good thing as well for me, because it helps with the shave. You don't need to do much strength. You just leave it glide. So nice. I'm just gonna do the mustache area there. Again, gonna just get it ready there. Because there's a few There we go Just to go against On the moustache area Nice. Got a bit of a nick there. It's okay. Nice. I think we're done. So I'm gonna do my Allen treatment and then I'll see you in a bit for the post shave. We're back. So I did my Allen treatment. Uh, I had a bit of uh, feedback around here. Otherwise, it was, I have to say, like, really, really there's baby smooth. Just letting you know. Even here, it sometimes is hard. Baby smooth. Everywhere. Nice. It was perfect, but I had a bit of a feedback down the bottom there. So, just letting you know, it was very efficient. Two pass I did against the grain there. That was about it. Really, really, really nice. So, we're gonna go tobacco original after shave. There we go, small few drops there. Mmm, nice. Normally I get feedback on the cheeks. This time around I didn't, so really nice. Let's see. Yeah, still a bit of a, still a bit of um, feedback on the bottom there. So that just means it's a, it was a really good shave. I'll put a bit because I did head shave. I'm gonna put a bit on my head as well, just to be uniform. There we go. There we go. Sweet. That was our shave for today. Let's recap. We tried the Gissen and Gorst Gorsthoff uh, gentle shave razor, Timor gentle shave razor. Uh, I'm missing something there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, unisex, that's it. 
Um, now, different from the other one, it doesn't say, say steamer, just says the bottom there. I don't know if it shows. Just says Gissel and Gisthof and Forsthof, um, Germany, since uh, 1920s. Now, this razor, I have to say, lovely. Stainless steel there on the handle, chrome plated on the head. This protrusion here is just a, a design thing that it's just, I think all of them should have because it's easy for you to grab the, the blade when you're putting it and when you're taking it out, but there's no overhanging when you're shaving. It's just lovely, lovely. Uh, it's really, really gentle with enough blade feedback for you to, to know exactly what you're doing. This is a, a really, really nice razor, I have to say. And it's gorgeous. The knurling is just lovely. I'm, I'm really, 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 I really enjoy this one. Really did. Now, because the razor was made in Germany, we went to the tabac. There you go. We went to the lovely tabac original. That's the tallow based one. Now I'm gonna repeat the notes. Like the top notes is uh, merrily, lemon, black pepper, bergamot, and petite grains, which I think is spices, but I'm not completely sure that. I tried everywhere, that's the only thing they said. And then it has uh, um, hard notes of lavender, chamomile, geranium, oak moss, absolute. And then on the bottom you have sandalwood, vetiver, musk, ambergris, uh, that's it. Yeah, and ambergris. I think it's a really nice, really nice scent. Uh, it, for me it's a barbershop kind of scent. Very manly, manly scent. The aftershave is the same as well. I just love it. And uh, the silkiness of the leather is just, it's a, a really, really good shave for me. I uh, always enjoyed it and that's a staple that I'm always going to have there. Uh, so that's it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed this shave. For me it was a really good shave and with a new razor, which actually surprised me, I really enjoyed that razor there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put a like on it, and, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Ciao!